You're listening to Sapientia Eterna. Today we're going to be talking about Freemasonry, the mysteries, evolution, and impact of this secret organization on our world. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode. Freemasonry is often shrouded in a veil of mystery and speculation. Historically, it has been perceived sometimes as a benevolent force working for progress and enlightenment, and other times as a secretive organization with dubious intentions. In reality, Freemasonry, with its roots deeply embedded in Western history, represents a complex blend of intellectual traditions, symbolic rituals, and influential social networks. The role attributed to Freemasons in major historical events is often exaggerated, but their influence cannot be denied. They have been involved in many key movements of modern history, notably the French Revolution and the Age of Enlightenment. This influence is largely due to the membership of emblematic figures from history, the arts and politics, who found in Freemasonry a ground for exchanging ideas and forging alliances. Modern Freemasonry originated in the early 18th century in England, but its roots go back even further. The term Freemason first appeared in the 14th century, referring to highly skilled Masons who, unlike their peers, had the freedom to move from one construction site to another. This mobility granted them a special status and distinguished them as free or Freemasons. These Masons, in addition to their technical skills, shared knowledge and practices that transcended mere craftsmanship. They gathered in lodges, originally workshops or temporary shelters on construction sites. Over time, these lodges became meeting and exchange places not only for building techniques, but also for philosophical and social discussions. In the early 18th century, Freemasonry underwent a significant transformation. The merging of four lodges in London in 1717 marked the birth of modern Freemasonry. This pivotal moment signaled a shift from a professional association to a more esoteric and philosophical organization. This new form of Freemasonry rapidly spread across Europe and America, attracting not only craftsmen but also intellectuals, nobles and politicians. By offering a space where ideas could be exchanged freely and where individuals from various backgrounds could meet, Freemasonry contributed to the emergence of progressive ideas and the advancement of social and political thought. It also played a role in the development of notions of fraternity, equality and liberty. Freemasonry has had a notable influence on the cultural and political development of the West, particularly during the Enlightenment era and revolutionary periods. Masonic lodges served as meeting places for progressive thinkers, fostering an exchange of ideas that often spilled over into the public sphere. During the French Revolution, for example, many Freemasons played key roles. Although it is exaggerated to say that the revolution was orchestrated by Freemasonry, it is undeniable that the ideals of liberty, equality and fraternity resonated strongly with Masonic principles. These ideals helped shape the political and social discourse of the time, influencing revolutionary events in France and beyond. Freemasonry has attracted numerous eminent personalities over the centuries, including intellectuals, artists, political leaders and revolutionaries. Among these famous members were historical figures like Voltaire, a champion of religious tolerance and freedom of expression. Benjamin Franklin, one of the founding fathers of the United States, and George Washington, the first American president. The presence of these illustrious members attests to the appeal of Freemasonry for those seeking to reform society. Mozart, for example, incorporated Masonic themes into his works, notably in his opera The Magic Flute, which is imbued with Masonic symbolism and ideals of enlightenment and brotherhood. These historical figures were not attracted to Freemasonry merely for its social or fraternal aspect. They were also engaged in the intellectual and philosophical debates that took place within the lodges. The participation of these members helped shape Freemasonry's reputation as a major cultural and intellectual force. Freemasonry is deeply rooted in rich symbolism and elaborate rituals, which are central elements of its identity and practice. These symbols and rituals draw their origins from various sources, including architecture, monotheistic religions, mythology, and esoteric traditions. Masonry tools like the square and compass are key symbols in Freemasonry, representing morality and the limit of human knowledge, respectively. The great architect of the universe is a reference to the divine, adopted to embrace all the religious beliefs of the members. 
This pluralistic approach is fundamental to Freemasonry, reflecting its commitment to tolerance and inclusion. In the mystery of Freemasonry, the initiation ritual of the apprentice unfolds like a symbolic journey towards the light of knowledge and wisdom. The candidate, often blindfolded and dressed in a manner symbolizing his state of spiritual quest, crosses the threshold of the Masonic Lodge in an atmosphere imbued with solemnity and mystery. Guided by the Lodge officers, he advances in a ritual dialogue that probes his desire for wisdom. The heart of the ritual is the ceremony of obligation, where the candidate, hands placed on a sacred book, solemnly swears allegiance, discretion and brotherhood, a commitment that deeply binds his soul to Masonic ideals. Secrets and symbols are then revealed to him, signs, handshakes, passwords, like mystical keys unlocking the doors of morality and spiritual understanding. Through lessons encoded in the tools of masonry, such as the square symbolizing uprightness, the ritual imbues the candidate with fundamental moral virtues. Finally welcomed as an apprentice, he stands at the threshold of an initiatory path, promising a perpetual quest for light in the darkness of ignorance, a journey that will shape his voyage through the sacred mysteries of Freemasonry. Apprentice is the very first degree of Freemasonry. The three main degrees are the apprentice, the fellowcraft, and the master. Each degree corresponds to a level of understanding and responsibility within the order. The fellowcraft is initiated into deeper knowledge, including the philosophical and ethical aspects of Freemasonry. This degree emphasizes the importance of education and intellectual development. The symbols and tools introduced in this degree are generally oriented towards learning and acquiring wisdom. The third degree Master Mason is considered the pinnacle of basic initiation in Freemasonry. This degree centers on maturity, responsibility, and understanding the deeper aspects of life and death. The ritual associated with this degree is the most complex and symbolic, including the allegorical story of the building of Solomon's temple and the myth of Hiram Abif, a central figure in Masonic legend. This degree emphasizes values of fidelity, perseverance, and faith. Secrecy is a fundamental aspect of Freemasonry, often a source of fascination and mistrust. Freemasons commit to not revealing the details of their rituals and internal discussions. This discretion is designed to create a safe space where members can explore ideas and share opinions without fear of external repercussions. Freemasonry has been the subject of numerous controversies and conspiracy theories over the centuries. These theories vary greatly, accusing Freemasons of everything from manipulating global political events to devil worship. These accusations have often been driven by mistrust of Masonic secrecy and the perceived influence of the organization. Freemasonry has also been criticized for its perceived exclusivity, particularly regarding the admission of women and certain minorities. Although the situation has evolved over time, these criticisms have contributed to shaping the public perception of the order. Totalitarian regimes throughout history have often persecuted Freemasons, seeing them as a threat due to their commitment to ideals such as freedom of thought and equality. For example, under the Nazi regime, Freemasonry was banned and severely repressed with its members viewed as enemies of the state. Since its peak in the early 20th century, the number of Freemasons worldwide has experienced a notable decline. While estimates were around 7 million in the 1970s, they have reduced to between 2 and 3 million today, with a significant concentration in the United States. This decline can be attributed to several factors, including changes in social attitudes, lesser attraction to secret and traditional societies, and competition from other forms of social and professional networking. However, despite this decrease in numbers, Freemasonry remains diverse in its composition and practices. There are a multitude of lodges and obediences, each with its own rituals, traditions, and admission criteria. It presents itself in various forms, oscillating between a philosophical club, a fraternal community, an initiatory order, and sometimes even a political lobby or an influence network. Masonic lodges continue to be places where members gather to discuss a variety of topics, ranging from philosophy and spirituality to social and professional issues. Freemasonry remains a fascinating and complex subject, steeped in mystery, but also with a rich history and undeniable influence on the course of world events. This was the first episode of Sapientia Eterna. If you liked it, feel free to like and share to a friend to help us grow the channel. See you soon for the next episode.